All right, today we're going to look at how to do a last updated timestamp script in Google Sheets. We're going to show you how quick and easy this is to do. So let's go ahead, we have our column here for that. Let's go ahead and open up our app script, extensions, app script, open this up. It'll create a new project if you do not have one. We're just going to call this timestamp script. And then to make this very simple and easy, we're going to use an on edit function. All we have to do is authorize, and this is going to work. I'm going to do this at only current doc to restrict our permissions. It's only going to ask access for this Google Sheet. All right, so that's enough housekeeping there. Let's go ahead and start this function. So this E stands for our event object. And so this is what Google gives us every time the spreadsheet is updated. And so from that, we need to get our range. So this is E.range. Let's go ahead and get the column, which is range.getColumn. Let's get the row, range.getRow. And we don't really need the value. So let's just get the sheet name. And this is going to be going back to our E. We're going to get source and then get active sheet and get name. All right, now we have all the variables we should need. So let's just make sure that our sheet name is equal to this. So we're just going to go lead management. So if sheet name is equal to and we use the double equals is a comparative. So that's saying is sheet equal to lead management. And then we can concatenate uh, more conditions. Let's say if sheet equals lead management and let's just say row is not equal to this column. So let's find out what column that is. I'm just gonna start typing column formula. It tells us 12 there. So that tells me this is column 12. So we don't wanna do it if it's in column 12. And that's what this not equals to. This exclamation point and equals saying if row, or uh, I'm sorry, this should be column. Column is not equal to 12. And then we'll add these braces. And now we can do our simple condition. So let's get our timestamp. So our timestamp is going to be, I'm gonna go ahead and use utilities format date create a new date and then let's get the time zone here which actually let's go ahead and get our spreadsheet so active spreadsheet there and then we're going to get spreadsheet time zone and then finally here we have our thing here so I want um, 12 hour time so I'm going to use a lowercase h there and then um, this A will show AM PM. So this gives us our timestamp in this format. Um, actually, I'm going to add a month, day, year there as well, just so we have a time and date stamp. And then from here, let's get our sheet equals SS, get sheet by name, and then we already have our sheet name there. And then all we have to do is get range, row, and then column is 12 and then set value equals timestamp. So anytime something changes, it's going to add a timestamp on that row. So all we gotta do to get this going now and working on our thing, because right now, if I type, nothing's happening. So we need to authorize this script and then it will start working immediately. So I'm just gonna hit run here. It's gonna ask for permissions, review, and I'm gonna just pick this click allow and so this is where that at only current doc is giving us this simplified version so it allows me to go straight to allow instead of normally there's a little more complicated process where you have to go bypass so this makes it very simple and easy this type error is absolutely 100% normal because I'm trying to run this on edit script from the script editor which means this does not have anything now when it runs from here it's going to have something so let's go ahead and just check this out new note and we should have here in a second is a timestamp let's check to make sure that this is working correctly we have failed here sheet is not defined at 11 oh it's because I had a typo there 
said sheet name instead of or sheet instead of sheet name. So let's try this again. I'm just gonna delete that, and there we go. There's our timestamp. And then we can just add, let's say, another note. And this is probably still the same time. So let's go ahead and delete that just for a second. And let's update this note again. There we go. Um, let's say down here we change the status. It says interested. And then there's our timestamp showing us the last contact. So that's as easy it is to create a quick timestamp script that will automatically update anytime you update any of the data in here. Um, it's going to show that timestamp there. And again, this one is restricting according to this sheet. So let's say you had a dashboard. It's not going to try to do that on the dashboard tab. So you can add more here. This and uh, double ampersand is combining these conditions. So sheet name equals lead management and the column is not equal to 12. You can also do um, or conditions with these double uh, vertical bars. Um, this is right above the backslash on your keyboard, which on my keyboard is right above enter. Um, so it's close to enter, but basically the vertical bar. If you do two, that means the same thing as or. And so um, if we had done this, for example, it'd be if sheet name was lead management or the column was not equal to 12, which I actually probably make it work on pretty much any tab. All right, so that should be it for this video. I hope that helps you see how quick and easy this is to do. Make sure to check out our other videos to see other ways of improving your projects.